everybody, welcome to Live with Prima. I'm Tiffany Solorio and I'm going to be sharing with you how to create this uh, chipboard tag album. And I'm using the Salvage District collection along with uh, some flowers and then the ink and layer stamps and um, just a lot of fun. Let me just flip through really quick because I don't think that I um, shared all the pictures. It's really simple. So I, I kept it really simple just in case um, somebody wanted to create it and they, you know, not to, um, uh, what's the word? Not too into um, all the mixed media and everything. So, yes, Mildred and I shared it on on Facebook. Okay. Um, while I was prepping some pages with some uh, light paste, I'm going to um, share with you um, a different, a couple of different projects that I used. Um, well, one using the chipboard album. So I made this one for CHA. This one is using the Tales of You and Me. So you can make all kinds of um, uh, mini albums. Sorry, there's motorcycles outside. <laughs> uh, I live in the middle of nowhere, so there's dirt bikes. And then also I made uh, this uh, layout with the Salvage District collection, but I used purple. So this collection, the Salvage District collection, you can use any color combination you want. I love this collection so much. It's such a good base uh, collection to have. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside, but somewhere where I can keep it out for reference, just in case. And I'm going to show you how I did the chipboard. So I used, hold on. Okay, so I used uh, three, oh, this one doesn't have the end on it. Um, but I used three different papers of the 12 by 12 sheets. So these one, I don't have the number for this one. Um, then I use this, uh, the number for this is 847531. And then I used both sides of those two sheets and then I used um, just this side for this sheet. And this number is 847517. So these are super pretty. I'm going to take this one and show you how I did the chipboard. Okay, so they come in a pack like this, um, and there's 12 in a pack. So I get, you can get, depending on how many uh, pages you do in your album, you can get you know, two or three albums per pack. So I used um, the, sorry, everything's going to be falling on me in, in a second. Um, I used the Artisan Tape. And let me get my scissors. And... And once you put the artisan tape down, it is there. You don't want to try to lift it up. I tried to do that on a project um, the other day and it ruined the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so I just put it around. I believe this is the quarter inch. Yes. And 
And then here I just snip off just so that it hits that corner. And I've already pre-done all the pages, so you don't have to watch me do every single page. So, and then this up here, this fits perfectly right there. And then right there. We'll do one in the middle. And I'm not using um, any sprays or anything, so I'm not too worried about, just really worried about the edges. Um, it's the large tags, they're the large ones. And they measure, let me see here. I'm sure it says it on the packaging, but about eight and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I hope that helps. They're pretty good size. Okay. So then you just take off all this tape, well the backing to the tape. Okay. Okay, I want this side. And you know what, I actually lied, I actually traced it out and then cut it, but that's okay. All right, so then just cut it out. I'm gonna just roughly cut it, and then I'll go in and get the edges. And I'm going to be using uh, the distress tool, so I'm not really worried. See how it's kind of not very, not cut very well. Not really worried about that because I'm gonna distress it and make it um, even. And then uh, this side. Okay, so I did that to all the pages. Okay, my distress tool. All right, and then just distress the edges like this. And I've had this tool for years, and this thing still it works perfect and I use it all the time so I'm just going to distress the edges like this and you can use sandpaper a nail filer it just gives it a nice finished edge Okay, and then, of course I did it the opposite way that I wanted to, but that's okay. And then I used my crocodile tool and I do it um, one page at a time. So I take the end that uh, this side is where the punch comes out. So I want that side to where I can see it's going in the hole, and then I just punch the hole. Okay, let me put that somewhere. 
running out of space to shove things. All right. And then I took this stencil and this stencil is number 564278. And there's no name, but it's probably one of my favorite stencils. And then I used light paste and the number for this is 961404 and I like the light paste it's really fluffy it reminds me of like marshmallow fluff or something and it dries really quick so I'm not doing the full tag so let me see here Kind of just do the edges a little bit. And then up around here. I didn't go all the way down here either. And then I came on this side and then kind of did the same thing. clean that off really quick because I'm going to be using it again. So uh oh. I don't know where my mat is <laughs> or else I'd be using my mat right now. Okay. Set that aside. Okay, so, and then you can always go in and clear off the little parts that are sticking out from the chipboard. And then I'm gonna be placing a lot of the um, embellishments kind of in the middle of each page. So that's why I only did, so you can see that the sides See? and then at this point if you want more color to your album you can always add um, mica powders or um, bloom sprays uh, any type of color media you medium you want to use so that's basically it for prepping the pages so Next, I'm going to set this aside, and then we're going to um, move on to the stamps. So I used the ink and layer stamps. Let me put this away. And I used these two here, and Sharon is going to be doing the, a class next week um, using um, these as well. And the number for this is 583613. And the number for this one is 583590. And what I did was I took some vellum And Prima has vellum as well. I believe it's uh, silver and gold. I just use regular vellum. And then I'm going to show you. I already have all mine stamped out and ready to go right here. So cut out and everything. Just show you how cool these stamps are. Okay, so I took on this little block here, this one here, and then, let me see, this leaf here. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this. 
took my Versamark, inked it up. You're not going to be able to see it now, but when I get the powder on. There's so many different ways you guys can use these stamps. And then what I do is I heat the vellum from the bottom. I don't know, I just feel the vellum is very delicate and I don't know, I just feel it works. And then at this point, it's pretty much all melted and good to go. But I just give it a little heat on the top. And I actually smudge this right here. I should have um, flicked all the extra off, but I didn't. Um, you could see, look really nice. Okay. Okay, so that is that part. We put these away. Okay, let me see if my pages are dry so I can do the other. Yep, okay, they're pretty much dry. I literally, at like five minutes before I had to start, I was doing um, the light paste on these pages because I just totally forgot that I had to do it because I'm going to be doing it on both sides. Okay, so let me figure out. Let me just zap these really quickly. Any questions so far? Okay, let me figure out how this is going. Okay, so that's that. And that. That. And this. Okay, let me put these away, the stamps away. Okay, so I'm going to get the light paste again in my stencil. We're going to start on the, um, the cover of the album here. And let me get it so you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to take the light paste again. Out of all the pages I could have prepped, huh? I couldn't do the front cover. Not too particular. Just kind of want it a little bit of texture. Let 
me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see better. Is that better? You guys can see maybe the page here. Sorry about the heat, gun. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that aside and actually work on the other, so I don't have to use the heat tool so much. You guys have any questions while I'm doing this? I know it's just kind of boring part. Who has the Salvage District collection? And what color combinations do you like? Anybody have it yet? I've used the purple, this the mint green ish color, and then um, I'm working on a um, art gallery wall in my daughter's room, and I actually forgot to do the announcements now that I think about it. Um, and there is a contest, so be sure to check out um, the Prima Facebook page and Instagram. There's a contest for the um, for the art gallery wall. So anyways, I'm doing a um, art gallery wall in my daughter's room and I used this collection for the for one of the layouts I did and I used pink and um, like a teal color. So I will do the full announcements after I get done with this. Who wishes there was a self-cleaning machine for stencils? I always forget to clean my stencils. It's horrible. That's the back. I don't want to do the back. Okay, I already did both those sides. Okay, so we're good. Okay, let me pull up the announcements. Sorry, Carrie, I totally spaced it. Okay. So really quick, sorry guys. Okay, so the next show coming up is Sharon and she'll be hosting the show on Tuesday, April 19th, showcasing foil techniques, ink and layer stamps with watercolors, and you could see her card on today's blog post at prima.typepad.com. And then the Prima Wall Art Gallery Contest. We want to see what kind of gallery you can make in your home using Prima products. The contest ends on May 1st. You can find the contest details by searching hashtag Prima Wall Art 
or go to the Prima blog and search Prima wall art for the contest details. You have to go to the blog and see, um, they've showcased some of the galleries already on um, the blog and they just inspired me so much to do one in Abby's room. <laughs> So, and I will be finishing up hopefully soon so you guys can see it. Okay. All right, that's, this is good to go. Okay, back on track here. All right, so I'm going to be using, let me move this out of real quick. In my original uh, album, I used the big frame and I misplaced them so I have um, the little frames which I'm going to use and they'll be just as cute from the same um, package so it's 892104 so I'm going to use two of the little ones and let's see here let me move some of the stuff out of the way and use this um. Okay. Sometimes I tuck a bunch of things in there and I can't remember what I used where. So I'm going to start off these flowers. Let me take them out of the package. So gorgeous. I think Prima should make these in every color. So pretty. Okay, so the number for these are 586409. And I'm just going to put my album right here so I can see it. I think I'm going to put, put them like that. So they're kind of just... I'm going to be adding a bunch of other items around so just gonna build it and then I'll glue everything down and then the pages go really quickly so um, I'm also gonna be using the ephemera pack and maybe you guys can see what's in there sort of <laughs> Uh, the number for this is 583637. And I'll use these um, throughout the album. So, let me see. There's frames and flower die cuts. So, I use this here. Use a clock. I'm gonna cut the clock in half actually because no sense in using it a full clock. So I'm gonna cover it up and I think that's it for the front. Put these back so I don't lose them. Okay, and next I used uh, the wood embellishments. These are so cute. Uh, they has uh, together these little hearts, and these little hearts are so cute. I think Prima should just make a whole box of just the little hearts. A bigger heart, and then it has a little heart die cut out of it. So cute. And then a key, and then this cute little wood um, piece here, and then I'm going to be using this banner piece here, and also a sticker from the A4 collection. I love, I believe, the 6x6 six six paper collections and the 12x12 12 12 and the... A4 paper collections come with stickers, which is really nice. 
And I'm going to change this one up a bit and use the love. So there. Okay, I'm gonna start gluing down. I think I'm gonna go for the flower first and then just kind of build around the flower. off-centered from the flower. And then this one up here. And let's put that there. under this piece just like that and then that like that Let's see how it goes. I think it goes this way no I don't think it matters Alright, so I just put the uh, sticker on, just like that, and then I'm going to just put that like that, just kind of layer everything together. And hold that just for a second. can zoom in just a tad bit more. There we go. I think I might need a little bit of hot glue for this one. Just a tad, just so it stays in place. Okay, and then this piece is going to go tuck behind here and then I use the vellum pieces just tucked here and there and I do kind of snip some of them off so that they tuck behind the flowers You can always use the other half on somewhere else, of course. Don't like how that's laying there. I'm going to snip this one in half. Just love the little extra detail it gives. So cute. Okay. And, oh, I forgot some flowers here. Let me see if I can find them. They are these, but I had a brand new pack. Okay, we'll just use these. 
Um, the, the number for these are 586393. A brand new pack because I used um, a lot of the mint green. But it's okay. We can improvise here. Use this one here. And I just glue the center and then fold it in half. And then it kind of makes it a little bit more fuller instead of like a flat flower. And then I'm just gonna tuck this down there. And then I'll use no pink. Again, just gonna glue it. The center, fold it in half, and then it kind of just creates a little bit more dimension. And then again, I'm just gonna just tuck these here and there. I think every little detail you add to projects is even if you can only see a little bit of what you're adding, it just it just makes the project. Okay, now I'm adding a few of these little leaves that I did, um, the embossing from the ink and layer stamps. And just gonna add those here and there. And I used flower from this collection, or this pack is from, uh, the number is 586485. They look like this. And I will use, these are super glittery. So if you like glitter, these are for you. Okay, I'm gonna use this one here. And I don't like so much glitter, so I just kind of just wipe some of it off. All right, and then I take the leaves off. gonna add this one here and then I'm gonna cover that all up so I'm gonna maybe pull that out a little bit so I could see it let me show you guys just Oh, it's all coming together. Okay, moving on to the next page. Hopefully nothing falls off. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me open this. Okay, so on this page, I actually used a tag and tab from the uh, Royal Menagerie collection. And here are the designs on the back. Super cute. And these are resist. And obviously like the green, um, there's green, I think that's the only color. Uh, it goes with the um, Royal Menagerie collection. But some of the patterns in here I thought were perfect. You can't see the patterns and it's hard for me to see them too, but I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use the some spray to ink it up and I'm going to do another one as well. I'm going to do this doily one. Okay, any questions? So I'm using the Storm Cloud Color Bloom Spray and the, the number is 573768. And my water go, there it is. 
I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of water and shake it up and just kind of spritz it around. There we go. And then you can see as you kind of wipe away the pattern. So pretty. I love these. And you can even use the paintables. I actually have the pack right here as well to the collection. Each collection has one of these. So you can also use those. Okay, and then I'm just going to take it and I'm actually going to tear off the tab. And I'm going to uh, just tear it a little bit. Just like that. And going to take a journal card. And this is from the um, Salvage District collection as well. And the number for this is 583712. And I'll just flip through while I'm trying to find the one I want. And it's not that one. Let's see here. So I'm not going to be able to find it. Here it is. Okay, and then I just cut cut this out actually so that it fits on the page. You guys with me so far? I'm just going to distress the edges a little bit. Again, we're just going to kind of layer everything together. Move that out of the way. And like I said, if you're just joining, um, I just did some stenciling with some light paste on the background and then um, at that point after that, once that dries, you can always add um, spray if you want. But I just wanted just a little bit of texture in the background. So I didn't add any spray to mine. Whoops, I added it that way. take another sticker going to try to kind of um, keep it on the same love theme And then I added some of these again. here 
And then I used uh, one of these flowers from this tube, this container, and the number is 529567. I better work fast. Got about 10 minutes. All right. Just going to add that there. And I'm gonna add, use that one there. And some more of these vellum pieces. So I think I covered that one pretty much. Added one of these little hearts in the center of the flower. Just like that. So that is that page, and then the next one is let's see. I believe I used a three by four note card and the number for this is five eight three six nine nine I'm just going to distress it yes I sometimes watch it on my phone and you won't you don't have commercials but then it's hard for me to watch and chat at the same time so I just kind of deal with the commercials I'm gonna add that right there then I'm going to add flower there and then another little sticker I love these stickers um, let's do a little heart with the bee add that just like that super cute the leaves back behind the flower just like that then I added a brad and the number for these is 583859 as you can see I love these so I'm going to use the love one And I just kind of twisted them around so the prongs fall off. This is super simple. You can always do more if you want. You don't have to. So that is that. Simple. Okay, next page is using some more note cards. Let's see here. Okay, so just kind of tore it like so and then use another three by three going to distress the edges
So who likes making albums? Anybody? I'm just gonna add that like that. And now I'm going to add one of these flowers, which is item number 586669. And add that there. I'm actually going to snip off. Sometimes some of the flowers have a kind of stiff backing with the wire, so I just kind of snip it off. I'm just going to add that back there. Just like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of water in the center and add a little bit of the storm cloud spray just to give it a little bit of color. Let's see here. We get another sticker. We'll do um, we'll do one of these love ones. Some more vellum. And you can do this technique with the vellum with any stamps. So if you don't have the ink and layer stamps, you can always use um, other Prima stamps that you have. Butterflies, you can do butterflies or anything. You can always, of course, use um, different colored embossing powders. I just liked the white with this. So that pretty much completes that page. And the next one is here, like this. Let me scooch that. Oh my gosh, have I been out of frame the whole time? <laughs> ah, typical me. All right. We're going to use the other half of this, well, sort of half, um, part of the other note card. Put it there. And I'm going to tear it off like that. Add it back there. And another three by three card. I'm just going to use the purple one. <laughs> no, dude, you're funny. simple this is okay and then I took that same card and I cut out the same here because I love the saying it says everything you want is on the other side of fear Add that 
there. And I'm gonna add that like that. Like that. And I'm gonna add a little flower. And push that over a little bit. It's right there. And you can layer everything how you um how you like, of course. If you do make something that was inspired by this album or any other project made on Live with Prima, we love to see them. Okay, I'm going to add a, another Brad. And just search Live with Prima on Facebook and ask to join. That one says the best right there. And that is that for that page. Moving on to the next. going to take another note card and I cut this out as well love these note cards you can even make just a little album out of note cards if you want Kind of going fast. I would definitely do a better job if I wasn't live. Any questions? don't own this tool you can always use your fingernail like this or your scissors although kind of rip the paper with the scissors because I don't really take my time that's why I like the tool all right so I'm gonna add that there and then I'm gonna add a few more flowers tucked behind there and I think I'm gonna add the pink ones although I didn't want pink but that's okay just add them there and then another little flower let me see if I can pick one out So many flowers in here, it's crazy. Alright, well, I will stick. I'll use one of these hearts from the wood embellishment.
I'm gonna hold this down just really quick. All right, and more of these. I'm just gonna use the leaves on this one. You guys good? Run a little late here. I'm gonna fold this flower in half, and then just tuck it behind here. And then I added a, in these packs, there's like these really heavy duty cardstock um, I guess embellishment type cards and you just cut them out they're really heavy duty so they're really nice it's gonna distress the edge that one on that side just like that all right couple more okay and these are simple Another journal card. And I actually used uh, one of these, and I'm sure some of you have these. Um, from, I have them from very, very many uh, collections ago. Um, and the number, this is from the engraver collection. And the number for this one is 564049. So I just use a little tag. And... And I just sprayed it with the, the color boom spray. Let's see. Come on. Just going to add it. Just back there. I love how Prima just comes out with their collections, but you can always use um, things from older collections as well. very nice to be able to do that okay again some more vellum and another one of these little flowers from the purity box that 
And again, I'm just gonna spray it in the center. So you don't want the whole thing colored. Well, sprayed a little bit too much on there. That's all right. Okay, I'm gonna take some ephemera from the pack. Um, let's do this clock. I'm gonna actually cut the clock out. And in this pack of ephemera, let me see if I can find, I don't know, you get a ton of um, little pieces in there, so. And I don't believe this collection came with um, I don't believe this uh, collection came with chipboard pieces. Yeah, it's a flower stamped. And on my original one, I actually did add um, these flowers, but they're probably sitting where my resin frames are. Sometimes when I'm running low on products and I need them for a class, I'll put them away and then I won't find them. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, okay, so that's that page. So we're almost done, guys. Wait, I've got two more pages. You guys good for two more pages? This one is super simple. I'm just gonna take. I know I can't. I it's probably where the frames are and my um, my little flower trim. I can't find him. Can't find it. And it's so funny because I have a really small area, so for me to lose something is just hilarious to me. I lost my crocodile the other day. I don't even remember where I found it. But it was just in the weirdest spot. <sighs> yes, I normally craft with a craft mat. Don't normally like to mess up my area. So I'm just going to put that down there. And that was from the 4 by 6 uh, cards. And just going to add some flowers. Just going to actually, there we go. Okay, family's home, so you might hear kids for a second. Just gonna add those there. And then I took some of the Jeep, uh, the Jeep, <laughs> the jute, what is this? The wheat jute, that's what I'm trying to say. The wheat jute trim. And I just tied a little bow, actually cut it. And the number for that is, actually I might need it bigger. Number for that is 576975. Just gonna tie a little bow and stick it in the center of the flower. And I doubled it, so. First, I'm gonna add some spray, just a little bit here. I'm gonna add the color bloom spray in the center. And I'm gonna add the string. 
And then another little uh, sticker. I'm just gonna use this love since it's right here and it's super cute. Right there. And last page, I use the three by four note cards. And let's see if I can find the one that I used. Maybe it was a four by six. Well, we'll use this one. There we go. I'm just going to tear it just like this. And then take another little note card. I'm going to use this gray color. how easy albums can be. Just a few note cards, a few flowers, and you're good to go. And of course, I'm working off camera. Sorry. <laughs> and in this mess, Carrie's probably texting me. Can't find my phone, of course. I'm just going to add a few little embellishments and then we are done. this side and be sure to um, come to the show on Tuesday which is at 1130 or 11 I'm sorry Pacific time because care or Sharon she's I can't even think Sharon will be showing you more on the ink and layer stamps they are just so fun And I added this piece here. using uh, I love hot glue but uh, when I'm not too sure about projects I like to use an adhesive that I can move around that way I can play with the placing of everything We're gonna put it all together. Let's see. Just like this. And I inked the edges with old road. And this is new, so this is probably gonna be super inky. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't go onto the paper, I just edged it on the side here. 
just like that. And you want to be careful because these chalk edges are very juicy when they're new. And you want to let them dry before you stick your hand in it. So I'm not going to do all of the pages, but that's how I ink the edges, just like that. And to finish it off, I just used some ribbon and then this is like silk ribbon you just get at a craft store. I like the way the ribbon looks and you can use ribbon on an album that isn't um, too bulky. Because it'll stay closed. If it got too bulky, probably gonna want to. Well, with tag album, albums, you really don't want them like this is ridiculously bulky, um, unless you're going to do a, a bind on it. I don't know how to do that, so um, unless it's like a pre made album, like the. Um, memory hardware albums because all those those are pre-made you can still add quite a bit to those and them not be ridiculously bulky so I want the bow in the front and I tie it kind of loose and then just tie it around like that just kind of work your bow How you like it. Just like that. Then you can snip off the edges. And there you go. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope um, didn't keep you too long. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you guys coming. And be sure to check out Sharon's show on uh, Tuesday. And be sure to um, check out the Art Gallery Wall contest. You guys will be so inspired. So many beautiful. I'm not a decorator of anything. <laughs> um... So my house is pretty just kind of bland, but when I kept seeing all the art gallery walls, it was just so inspiring. So I decided just to start small in, in my daughter's room. And everybody that is going to Art Venture in Coronado, have fun. And thank you guys again so much. I'm going to um, 